Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to all my students who have registered for FIN 645. So I'm Madam Fatihah Ismail. I, uh, I'll be the one who, who in charge for the mass lecture of this particular course. So um, we will start with our first chapter, okay, which is overview of financial markets. Okay, actually, um, what you will learn in this particular chapter, you have actually uh, learned in previous courses such as FIN 552 and maybe, maybe uh, some of you from Diploma, you also have learned about the financial market. So for this uh, particular chapter, I mean chapter 1, we will recall okay, a bit on this market. Okay. Alright, before we start, uh, I would like to highlight about two different markets. Okay. Uh, the first one is actually uh, the first one is traditional market okay because why we have to understand the difference between traditional market and also uh, one type of market that we have in finance in financial market okay traditional market ni adalah pasaran biasa lah normal market where buyer and seller meet together in order to transact uh, on any particular good or services okay so in traditional market, what will happen? Uh, buyer will pay, alright, the payment to the seller while the seller will make delivery of the goods or services to the buyer for the payment. Okay, meaning to say, taking and making deliveries of goods and exchange of cash will happen Im uh, immediately or simultaneously. Okay, maksudnya macam pergi pasar malam lah. You go there to buy nasi lemak. In exchange, you pay... Uh, let's say two ringgit or two ringgit and fifty cent depends on lauk apa yang you beli. Alright, you bayar, you dapat barang, you dapat nasi lemak. So that is traditional definition of market where payment and delivery of goods or services happen simultaneously on the spot. Okay, so that is traditional definition of a market. Okay. However, in finance, okay, finance ni. Ada dua market juga. Okay, dalam finance, we have traditional kind of market. But also, we have another kind of market where, alright, you don't have to meet uh, uh, at physical place or there will be no need for immediate transaction. I mean, immediate payment and also immediate delivery of good or services. Okay, in finance, ada, 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 ada pasaran yang mana, Okay, dalam finance market and eh, dalam financial market, ada pasaran yang mana buyer and seller don't have to meet personally at one place. Alright, and the buyer also don't have to make the payment today and the delivery of goods and services also will take place in the, few, in the future. So, what happened today is actually uh, only the agreement to buy or to sell. Okay, later kita akan bercakap detail tentang uh, that kind of market. Okay, ha, yang ni lah ni. Okay, now let's talk about cash market and derivative market. Cash market is the traditional market that I have told you just now. Okay, cash market is also known as spot market. Okay, spontaneous market. Okay, where it requires immediate delivery of goods. Alright, either it is physical or financial asset by a seller and require immediate payment by the buyer. Okay. Physical kat sini pula refers kepada apa? Physical, physical refers to the physical place where seller will meet the buyer, alright, to exchange goods or services for the payment. Okay, so that is cash market. Okay, ingat tadi, alright, dalam finance, alright, ada market yang do not necessarily, necessarily require a physical place and also immediate payment and delivery. Okay, alright. Itu kita panggil derivative market. Okay, again, come again. Cash market is market where uh, it, it requires immediate delivery of goods and also immediate payment. Okay, tapi ada pasaran yang do not require for immediate delivery and immediate payment. Alright, that is known as derivatives market. Okay, by trading procedure, buyer and seller can delay the delivery of goods and payment at the later date, alright, at a later date in the future, okay, alright, in this case, in this kind of market, buyer and seller don't have to meet at a physical place and also without spot transaction, okay, so what happened today, kalau dah, 
delivery berlaku di masa hadapan, payment also berlaku di masa hadapan. So what happened today? What happened today is, alright, agreement or contract. Contract of what? A agreement or contract to buy or to sell specified underlying asset is made today. Hari ini berlaku perjanjian. Okay, berlaku uh, terhasilnya satu kontrak. Kontrak yang menyatakan kita akan beli scan-scan barang, security and the lying asset. Okay, and the fulfillment of the contract will take place in the future. Okay, so yang berlaku hari ini dalam derivative market is apa? The agreement or contract, okay, to buy or to sell specified underlying asset. Sama ada financial asset or business asset, economic asset. Alright, itu je yang berlaku hari ini. Alright, the fulfillment, the payment, the delivery will happen in the future. In the future, okay. Uh, so that is derivative market. Okay, so uh, ini uh, konteks lain pula. We want to differentiate between physical asset and financial asset. Physical asset also known as economic asset, business asset. Okay, physical asset is tangible in appearance. Okay, dia benda yang kita nampak dengan jelas. Ada rupa bentuk, dia ada features dan sebagainya. Alright, such as properties, vehicles, fixtures, land. Okay, and then it is a uh, Quite less liquid because there is no proper proper regulated market. Sometimes it is time consuming to close a deal. It's not easy to jual uh, tanah, nak jual bangunan, nak jual buildings, nak jual vehicles, alright? Okay, you have to do some promotion, publicity, alright, in order to attract people to, to buy, okay? You have to go for your target consumer and market, okay? So, it is actually a bit time consuming to close a deal. Okay, and then when you sell financial, eh, sorry, sorry, when you sell physical asset, you have to sell them, um, hundred percent lah. Contohnya rumah mana ada orang jual dapur saja, mana ada orang jual uh, ruang tamu saja. Full disposal of asset during, uh, after selling is made. Okay, uh, macam a creator mana ada orang jual bahag potong dua kereta kan. Maksudnya kalau you jual satu aset tu, you will sell and buy the aset in whole. Okay. Ha, se -se Sepenuhnya. Entirely. Alright. Uh, 100% of the asset. Okay. So that is physical asset. Apa nama lain for physical asset? Economic asset. Business asset. Okay. And then we have another type of asset which is financial asset. Financial asset is uh, actually intangible, has intangible appearances such as apa, unit trust, shares, treasury bills, fixed deposit, commercial paper, bond. Okay, and also futures and options, contract. Okay, so basically those uh, financial asset will be in form of certificate lah. Okay, uh, contohnya ASB. Uh, ASB, amanah saham. Saham tu You pernah tengok rupa dia macam ni. Dia dalam sertifikat. Tapi kalau ASB senang. Alright. Everything will be in form of unit. And all uh, the the number of unit will be debited and credited in the ASB punya account book sajalah. Okay. So see basically financial asset in form of certificates. Okay. They are intangible in appearances. Okay. And then uh, it is more liquid. Okay. As compared to uh, business asset. Okay. Ha, lagi senang, nak jual beli saham senang, pergi je pejabat pos. Ha, ASB, I'm talking about ASB. Pergi je pejabat pos, nak keluarkan duit, benda tu you are selling your units. If you want to sell your shares or your, uh, or your stock, you can call your broker, okay. Harga katakan stock tengah naik, so you decide to sell. Okay, you just call your broker, tell the broker how much you want to sell your stock and then, alright, dia pun akan jualkan untuk you, Okay. Uh, if you sell at higher price, you will gain the profit lah. Okay. So, selling and buying can be executed by small volume or parts. Okay. Let's say you ada 100,000 unit ASB. Okay. Kalau you nak jual, tak kena jual semua. Depends pada banyak mana yang you nak jual. Okay. So, it can be executed in small volume or parts. Okay. Next uh, is the... Uh, money market and versus capital market. You kena ingat ya eh, anak-anak semua, anak-anak semua. Chapter ni is just to recall what you have learned. And actually, uh, we try to locate ourselves. Bila kita belajar futures and option ni, kita belajar kat dalam financial market, uh, which part, bahagian mana. Kita berada di mana. Itu tujuan this particular chapter. Okay, and then we have money market versus capital market. So, money market, capital market, dua-dua actually to help company to raise capital, to raise fund. However, for money market, all the instrument of financial asset uh, that uh, traded in the money market normally has maturity uh, less than one, one year, such as treasury bill, bankers acceptance, okay. And then we have also capital market.
there also uh, you are talking about selling and buying securities but all those securities traded in capital market uh, normally have uh, maturity longer than one one year even kita ada stock yang tak ada langsung maturity you can Hold as long as you want selagi mana security tu masih available dekat pasaran lah. Okay, company tu belum bankrupt ke apakah. Okay, alright. And when we talk about fixed income security such as bond, of course, normally maturity dia 3 tahun. And some of the bond of fixed income security, security maturity sampai 15-20 tahun. Okay. Alright, and then, okay, this is also a throwback memory punya cerita. Alright. Uh, how to differentiate between money, uh, primary market and secondary market. So, primary market, anak-anak, alright, involve a market. It is a market where securities or shares, are normally kita shares, okay, alright, um, uh, are newly issued, okay. We are we are talking about market, alright, selling freshly, newly issued stock, alright, from the issuing companies, okay. Macam baru keluar daripada oven. Okay, company issue new new stock, new shares, okay, to the public. Kalau dia, uh, say to the public lah, IPO lah. Kalau ataupun dia buat private placement ke whatsoever. Tapi maksudnya, share baru yang hangat baru keluar daripada company tu sendiri. So, the proceed hasil from the selling will go directly to the com issuing company. Ha, okay, jualan pertama tu, hasil jualan pertama tu will uh, go to the issuing company. Okay. And then, of course, lah. Uh, let's talk about initial public offering, okay, to complete the deal, okay. Uh, and issuer has to engage with the intermediary, normally merchant, merchant bank. So that is primary market. Ingat, eh, uh, market that sells, okay, that trades freshly, newly issued, alright, securities from the oven. Oven dalam kes ni adalah issuer company, okay. So, bila kita beli share yang panas-panas baru keluar ni alright, it will make us what the shareholders ok, so bila you dah beli share and then harga share tu naik, you nak jual ok, bila the share are retraded, diniagakan semula oleh you sekarang sebagai shareholders, maka now the share is no longer in the primary market, the shares are now in the secondary market, so bila jual hasil jualan shares tu, untung yang you buat, ok, will go back to you lah, kepada you lah as the shareholders, right? Ha, bukan lagi pergi kat company. Company dapat masa first, masa first, first issue tu sahaja. Okay, masa baru keluar pada oven. Bila kita dah beli, shareholders beli and shareholders pula jual, right? the proceed from the selling will go to the seller or the shareholders. Tak kira lah sama ada rugi ke tak rugi, rugi ataupun untung. Okay, semua tu akan go to the seller or the shareholders ok, kalau share kalau stock, uh, kalau bond sorry, share stock benda yang sama, kalau bond bond holder lah, ok uh, alright, so uh, so this is the, the structure of the Malaysian financial market ok, ini kita record balik apa yang kita dah belajar tadi, alright, kita ada money market, ada capital market so ada money market, ada market table security ada forex market, this one you dah belajar dalam fin 542 also uh, with me, 542 and other lecturer. Yes. And then we have capital market, cash market and derivative market. So, kita fin 645 ni, kat mana kita? Ni ha, ni. Derivative market which is bawah capital market. So, under the derivative markets, uh, there are a few uh, instrument. We have futures forward, option and swap. But for your paper, Jelas-jelas dah, FIN 645 is futures and option. So, we will cover only futures and option. Okay, so this basically study question, alright, that sometimes uh, come up in your come up in your final or test. Okay, different differentiate between cash market and derivative market, why financial asset are more liquid compared to physical asset. Okay, and finally, what are the distinguishing features, alright, between primary market and secondary market. And also, of course, other 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 type of question lah. Uh, this is these are example examples okay of study question okay so that would be the end of chapter one all right so i'll meet you in the video of chapter two uh, chapter one is recall saja lah eh? flashback what you have learned before uh oh sorry bunyi kuat rupanya
ke you are tak dengar bunyi dia tak apa tak dengar tak apa okay so quote of the day hard choices easy life easy choices hard life senang cerita dia apa bersenang-senang dulu eh suilah pula bersusah-susah dulu bersenang-senang kemudian okay so let's see let let's meet again in chapter 2 assalamualaikum